Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create no swipes or swipes on After Effects. First, we gotta drag our clips to the project. We we'll just select these two and drag them over here. So once that is done, we'll just add them to our main project like this. First, oh sorry, first you gotta create the composition, new composition. Um, I use the settings, of course you can change and arrange it to anything you want, but 1080 would do. So we add the creator composition, next we can add our clips, the composition. We arrange them, something like this. Then for instance, imagine that we have a music, so there's going to be beat to it. So we're just going to add a beat, like for instance, the music beat is going to be here. You just press X or star sign on your keyboard, something like this. And once that is done, you just have your clips over here and arrange them to the way you want. Usually this amount is enough, something like this between uh, this amount of duration could be enough. Once that is done, you can just pre-compose your clips. There are two methods to pre-compose your clips. For instance, the first method is to just right-click on your clip, pre-compose, make sure that these two are marked, and press OK. The other method, or the shortcut, is to, is just to use Control shift c Again, like this, uh, you create both compositions. So now once you've done that, you can actually, um, let me just a little bit shorten this clip. For example, this scene is not good. You can just use this scenes, for instance, something like that. Okay, good. And like a few seconds before the actual beat starts, you know, because um, it's a swipe, you know, because it's going to have a few seconds. It's going to take a few seconds before it's going to move on to the next clip. So we're gonna keep it like this, and the second one is also the first clip is also okay, in my opinion. Then again, you can just arrange it to the way you think it's better. But for now, I'm just gonna use it like this for the sake of uh, explaining and practice. So the next step is to just right-click over here, new, and add a new null object. We're gonna leave it like this for now. Now we created our pick one post clips. Now we're gonna link it to the null object. The null is going to be acting as a parent. So like this, you just click on this round shape like this and just attach it to the null object. So now from now on, whatever change we make to the clip is going to be also affected on the pre compose clips as well. So there's one thing that you can do first is to for the second clip, you gotta drag it either to the right, left, up or down, depends on how you want to create your swipe. So on my second clip, I'm just gonna, the shortcut is to just press P on your keyboard, and there you have it, and you can just drag it all the way to the right, for instance, I can just drag it like this, and that seems okay, okay, that's good. So once that is done, we'll now pick our null object. And again press P on our null object as well. Here make sure that the keyframe is going to be active because we're going to change the position of it at the end. So we can start it at this point where the second clip starts and go to one frame before the first clip finishes. Like look at this here. I'm not going to go to the end because it's going to be dark and black. So I'm just going to keep it like this and move um, the slide like this, move the position like this, so we can go to the second clip. I think that's all nice now. So now I think the clip is our, we can see that it's somehow ready, as you can see our, right now. Let me just see if I can play. Yeah, it's all good. Actually, let me just <laughs> turn off the audio as well. But yeah, this is good. So, but it, you know, it's not really good, you know, it's not, it's kind of dry. So what you can do is just select your clips, right click on one of the keyframes, keyframe assistance, easy ease. There's also a shortcut, you can just press F9 to create easy ease. Now once you've done that, you select here the graph editor, you open it, make sure to use, click on this, and use speed, edit speed graph. So you can use this button here to show you the graph like it rearranges it so you can know what to do my personal idea it would be to just drag the sec this yellow bar here and drag it like maybe 
this, this seems good this seems good actually like you look at the beat here we have the beat right here so it would be best that you somehow arrange it so the summit of the graph or the very top of the graph matches the beat something like that right now i do not have an audio or music but you can like i said you can just mess around with it but it'll be good so let's check it out let's, let's see if it's good or not well the problem is that the clip is kind of short you can just a little bit make this uh, longer and then just move the graph uh, the keyframes a little bit further so i'm just gonna mess around with it so let's check if it's good or now yeah now it's a little bit better as you can see it has that smoothness in it yeah yeah that's pretty much it now if you of course you want to make it four or five clips there's no trouble to it you can just add your clips here and go to the end like three four or five doesn't matter how much you want and you can just create your clips like that i hope you guys find this video uh, interesting and see you guys later if you guys wish you can also get the project file of this today's tutorial and use it for your own projects or if you want to mess around with it and see what how you can make it better or just uh, see the key points inside it so you can come to the tutorial section and download this no swipe after effects project file now once you open it you probably will see a scene like this uh, as you can see right now, uh, I have the video here, so it's working for me, but probably you will have some image like this. So how you can resolve this is that you just right click on these two files and then go to replace footage and go to files and just replace it with the video or image that you wish and then you can get it go. And that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later.